What's good, Nice Kicks fam? It's your boy, Ray Polanco Jr. Now today, we have something super special from a really special guy. If you haven't guessed it already, we'll be unboxing the Sean Witherspoon Nike Air Max 1 97 Hybrid in all its corduroy glory. For the 30th anniversary of the Air Max 1, 12 revolutionaires were invited to design the future of air. The first ever Air Max designed by the community for the community. The winner was Sean Witherspoon, LA vintage store owner and lifelong Air Max fan who brought together an Air Max 97 upper and the iconic Air Max 1 midsole and outsole. Like the corduroy Nike hats of the 80s that inspired them, they are made to wear and designed to fray. The more you wear them, the better they get. Now that you understand the concept of the shoes and the contest that Sean had to win to create the shoes, let's get into the details. Photos and videos will not do this shoe justice. Look at all this corduroy, it feels so soft and so cozy. I remember my mom sent me to church with corduroy pants on Sundays and I hated corduroy pants, but Sean literally brought back this feeling of hate and turned it into love because I'm definitely gonna enjoy wearing these. In a previous interview with Nice Kicks, Sean Weatherspoon went on to detail why he chose corduroy as the leading material for his Air Max design. Sean wanted to accomplish something Nike did with the Air Jordan 1 in 1985 in the sense of creating a shoe that lives on forever. The Air Jordan 1 not only gets better with time, but the leather, the creases, the wear and tear adds character and personality to the shoe, which Sean has mentioned is his favorite shoe of all time. And with corduroy being a very underappreciated material, he felt like he wanted to shine some light on this material that not only looks good at the beginning, but also the more you wear it, the more you scuff it, it looks better at the end of the process as well. I'll link that entire interview for you to read in full in the description down below. So check it out right after you finish watching this video. But when we look at these shoes in hand, you can only notice the color blocking, which is my favorite part of the shoe. So it starts with this lemon color, very bright at the top, goes into salmon, goes into gray, teal, and also olive. Beautiful color scheme. Let's look at some of the details on this sneaker that make it really, really special. If we head over to the heel, you'll see embroidered VA to LA. Sean Witherspoon is really repping his hometown, Richmond, Virginia, while paying respect to where he lays his head today, Los Angeles, California. Making our way over to the tongue, you'll notice Velcro interchangeable patches for days you want to ride the wave and other days when you want to ride with the swoosh. This feature is really dope because if you have some patches laying around at home or get some patches made, you can literally customize this shoe and make it your own. Now we'll head over to the coziest feature on this sneaker and it's gonna be the insole and the sock liner made out of velour. It feels so supple, so beautiful, it's amazing. This is something you won't be able to tell from photos, but as you can see, it just looks and feels so good. I'll be honest, the reason why I'm really excited about this shoe, not only does it look good, but it's made by somebody who's really of the culture. He's a normal sneakerhead, just like you and I. Sean is really dope, and what he's doing with his shop round two is even more amazing for what we know as the sneaker culture today. If you guys watch this show on YouTube, personally, it's my favorite thing to watch on YouTube. I watch it every single time, whether it's an hour long or 30 minutes, but it literally is a really dope show, and I watch it religiously every time I get that notification. Now it's time for the important information everybody wants to know. The Sean Witherspoon Nike Air Max 1 97 Hybrid release date is November 21st, only in Virginia, November 22nd, only in Los Angeles, and then the rest of the world, you just have to wait until March 2018 Air Max Day for the official release. That's just about my time. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Let me know if you like the shoe. Is it fire? Is it a must cop? Do you live in Los Angeles or Virginia? Do you get first dibs? Or do you live internationally where you kind of have to wait a little bit? Let us know what you think. We'll get down in the comments with you and talk. Until next time, it's Ray Polanco Jr. This is Nice Kicks TV. Peace.